Here we are, Nations League predictions, match day four, part two. This is the 20 game sp special there. So I make uh, predictions for all these Nations League games there and give the odds for the matches. And according to what the odds say is how many points you're able to accumulate and get yourself on the leaderboard. And I currently don't have the full leaderboard standings because I haven't tallied up that other bulk heavy fixture that was a few days ago when all these nations played against other opponents from the group there. So after once I do all that, you'll see myself in the football simulator really winning away with it ahead of the likes of Tom O and Carvin White and uh, Toy Swift that have gone involved and at least made a prediction in the series so far. But it's not too late to join. Feel free to get involved, even if you're not going to win the prize of a five minute video for me to film any topic of your choice then there was other constellation prizes just breaking whites and also there's other opportunities to get involved with all the other predictions that I do on the channel there so feel free to go and check that out as well too but anywho we better get to it because there's so many games to get through so it's going to be a bit of a long video and we're not going to give the previous results for these countries so just a bit of an idea Finland taking on Ireland to kick things off 237 for Finland 288 for the draw and 320 for Ireland I'm gonna go for a nil nil draw football simulator sees a 2 nil win and the only other game kicking off at 5 a.m. my time is Lufiana taking on Albania dollar 91 for Albania 288 for the draw and 420 for Lufiana I think this could be a good opportunity for Lithuania to cause an upset. So I'm going to go for a 2 1 win for them. Football Simulator sees a 3 0 win for Albania. And all these other games at 7 45 in the morning, my time there. It's pretty crazy how they got 18 matches at the exact same time. And since they only had the two days to do it, there was also speed day opportunities, such as yesterday when they didn't have any matches just like they had it over the space of three days last time around so I'm not sure what's happened this time around just means that they don't get as many people watching the fixtures online so it just seems like a lose-lose situation to me but anywho nothing complaining just enjoy the festival so Italy taking on Netherlands 210 for Italy 330 for the draw and 325 for the Dutch Gonna go for a 1 1 draw for this one. Football Simulator sees a 2 1 win for the Italians. Poland, the opponents are Bosnia. $1.72 for Poland, $3.50 for the draw, and $4.50 for Bosnia. I'm gonna go for Bosnia to win 2 1. Football Simulator is gonna go bonkers. Gonna go for a 10 goal bonanza. And it's gonna go for Poland to win it 8 goals to 2 somehow. Jeez, if that comes in, there will be a special video talking about this match. Next up is Greece taking on Kosovo. $1.57 for Greece, $3.60 for the draw and $5.50 for Kosovo. Gonna go for a 1-1 draw. Football Simons that sees a 2-1 win for Greece. We've got Slovakia taking on Israel. $2.30 for Slovak, $3.10 for the draw and three bucks for Israel. Gonna go for a 1-1 draw. Football Simons that sees a 2-1 win for Slovakia. Next up we have that World Cup finalist match back in 2018 which was Croatia taking on France. The reverse fixture was the exact final scoreline with France winning at 4 goals to 2. What will happen this time with Croatia being at home? 3.30 for Croatia, 3.30 for the draw and 2.10 for France. Going to go for France to get a 1-0 win. Football Samantha sees a 4-3 win for Croatia. Got Belarus taking on Kazakhstan. Two bucks for Belarus. Two eighty-eight for the draw and four bucks for Kazakhstan. My pick is a one-one draw. Football Samantha is prediction is a two-one win for Belarus. We have Estonia taking on Armenia. Three fifty for Estonia. Three bucks for the draw and two ten for Armenia. We have both decided to go for Armenia to get a two-nil victory. We have Portugal against Sweden. $1.45 for Portugal, four bucks for the draw, six bucks for Sweden. 
Gonna go for an upset here, Sweden. Six to one, seems quite juicy value. Gonna go for a three two Sweden win. And somehow, I don't know, the football simulator sort of keeps predicting my predictions there so that I don't get to uh, pull away with things. So, football simulator sort of is gonna go for Sweden, one nil winners as well, too. So, not a lot to gain on them, but hey, this is what it is. Next up is Turkey against Serbia. 240 for the Turks, 325 for the draw, and 275 for Serbia. Gonna go for Serbia, one nil winners. Football Samantha sees a 3-1 win for Turkey. Scotland, they take on the Czech Republic. 3.40 for Scotland, $3 for the draw, and 2.20 for the Czech Republic. I'm gonna go with a 2-2 draw. Football Samantha sees a 3-0 win for Scotland. Bulgaria against Wales. Two bucks Wales, 2.88 for the draw, 3.75 for Bulgaria. I'm gonna go 2-1 for Wales. Football Samantha is going to go for a 4 1 win for Wales. Romania against Austria. 3.75 for Romania. $3.30 for the draw. $1.91 for Austria. I think Romania will win this game quite comfortably, despite being the underdogs. I'm going to go for Romania. 3 0 winners. Football Samantha sees a 2 1 win for Romania. We've got Iceland against Belgium. 10 to 1 odds for Iceland, 5 to 1 for the draw, $1.25 for Belgium. Belgium, they recently slipped up against England there. Best team in the world currently, Belgium are. Are they going to lose their number one spot? I think that could be in great big jeopardy if they slip up on this game here against Iceland. And I have a funny feeling Iceland might actually get something out of it. And plus Belgium. You don't get a lot of value in predicting them to get a victory. Gonna go for a 2-2 draw. Football Smith is gonna go for a 0-0 draw. Once again, copy me on a big, big upset. Next up is Norway taking on Northern Ireland. $1.45 for Norway. Four bucks for the draw. Six fifty for Northern Ireland. Gonna go for Norway there. Good old um, Harlan Lee is managing to score quite a few goals for his nation. So... Got to support the dudes, got to support the country and go for Norway 4 1 winners. Football Samantha sees a 1 1 draw for this match here. England taking on Denmark. $1.62 for England, $3.75 for the draw, 5 bucks for Denmark. England only managed to get a draw in the reverse fixture, but this time they are at home. And if they're able to beat Belgium at home, then they surely should be able to beat Denmark at home. But it isn't always the case with England, is it? I do think they will be able to do it. They have a great historic record in slipping up in a later stage in competitive competition wise. And this is the group phase, so it should be reasonably plain sailing to get through to those semi final matches where things really heat up. So they're going to go for England, 2 0 winners. Football Samantha is going to go with Denmark to come away, 2 0 winners. Russia against Hungary, $1.62 for Russia, $3.75 for the draw, 5 bucks for Hungary. Gonna cut it all out and gonna say Russia, the Russians, 3 1 winners for the both of us. Moldova taking on Slovenia, 8 bucks 50 for Moldova, $4 for the draw, $1.36 for Slovenia. Sad to see Moldova get any result out of this game, whatever shape, sort of way you look at it. So I think Slovenia is gonna go out there and absolutely teach them a football lesson and fresh them, 5 goals to nil. Football Slovenia sees just a narrow 1 0 win for Slovenia. And last up, we have Macedonia taking on Georgia. Two bucks for Macedonia, 320 for the draw, and 360 for Georgia. I'm going to go with a 0 0 draw. Football Slovenia is going to go with a 1 1 draw. So, those are my predictions, the Football Slovenia's predictions for match day number four, part two. Make sure you get involved, put your predictions down below, and talk about your home nation. Or country that you support in this competition, who do you think is going to go all out and win it? Can anyone stop Portugal, who are the current holders at the moment? So, yeah, feel free to get involved. Doesn't matter what you say in the comments, as long as there is a bit more communication going on, that will be really nice. And um, if you enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, also feel free to hit that subscribe button. And I'll be back again. I believe we'll be all the way in November next month there for the next batches of matches. Cheers.